All right, guys, let's get into it. I've got a good one here for you today, okay? Because in this video, I'm gonna show you with live use cases, all right, how I recovered from a losing trade. Especially when that losing trade happens early in the trading session. Because let's face it, man, when you lose on your first trade of the day, there's a lot of tension, there might be a lot of stress and anxiety on how to recover from that losing trade. And I have a simple, like crystal clear solution for you that I think will work on any market, any symbol across the board, all right? And it doesn't take a rocket scientist or a brain surgeon to figure this out. And that's because how I recover from losing trades is by using strong risk management. So let's get into it, folks. My name is Market Dino Trading. It is good to be with you. Today is Tuesday, April 9th. Had a bit of a slow day in the market today. And my guess for why the market was so sluggish today is because we have the CPI report due out tomorrow morning. You could call it the inflation report. And you guys know that the market goes absolutely bonkers on that CPI slash inflation report. So my guess is that Nobody really wanted to take on some big positions the day before inflation comes out. But to be honest with you, man, that's neither here nor there, right? As traders, we try to look for high probability opportunities to make money every single day, report or no report. You follow? So I want to get you dialed into my trading system. You guys already know, or I should say most of you guys that have been with me for a while know that this green and red volume indicator color band is my proprietary take on trading volume. In my humble opinion, there's only one way to draw out volume, and it's with these green and red color bands. When it's green, like it is right there, we want to look for longs. And when it turns red, it tells us that we now want to think about looking for shorts. Now, let me get you down in this first losing trade, all right? I'm going to show you why I took this trade, outline my thought process, and also how I was able to emerge relatively unscathed from this first losing trade while also catching a magnificent, huge winner later in the session. You can see my live fills are all still marked on the chart. All right, let's talk about this early loser. All right, let me just quickly clean up the chart here. Okay, let me get you dialed in onto why I took this trade. So obviously, you know, whenever the vol turns green, we're looking for longs, but we're not looking to play the color change. Instead, you guys know we play the retracement and you can see right with your own eyes we have a nice little retracement right there now here's what i was thinking all right i was thinking that we might have a chance to hit 18.4 on the nas take a look at 18.4 18.4 is all the way up here shouldn't even say all the way it's actually not even that far away it's around three to one risk reward on the nas i felt like it was a very good risk reward trade for me to take on early in the trading session so yeah I went long here on the open of the next candle, but this time, guys and gals, what I decided to do was place my stop loss at the halfway point of the candle, thereby dramatically reducing the risk. Now, why did I do that today? Because you guys have hardly ever seen me do this, right? The reason I decided to do this is because when I looked at the trading calendar, as you can see right here before you, all right, I knew that the CPI report was tomorrow. So traditionally, the day before the CPI report, the market is always sluggish. Matter of fact, you can see there were really no high impact news events scheduled for today. So if we go back to the chart, I can tell you that I was very confident that today was going to be a bit of a sluggish day, kind of like we had yesterday, and I wanted to size down my risk. That's the only reason why I use the halfway point of the candle as my stop loss instead of the bottom part of the candle. Makes sense? Because you always have these two choices. You can use the halfway point or the bottom of the candle. And of course, if we zoom in on this trade, you can see what happened, right? Bought it at 355 and a half and got stopped out at 49 and a half for a quick six point loser. It's about 24 ticks right off the bat. But I'm comfortable with this, man. I mean, I feel like if you're not prepared to take some small losers along the way before you nail a big monstrosity like a of a savage winner like this all right like if you're not prepared for that then i don't think you have any business trading right you've got to be able to stomach one second let me fit this to scale here 
you've got to be able to stomach and deal with small losers before you catch your big boy. And that's because I feel that when you trade volume, especially when you are trading the full eight hours of the trading session, you're going to get opportunities, man, right? So this is the job of a trader. You've got to be disciplined. You've got to be patient and you've got to look for those trading setups. So here we go again, man. Look at this. Just a couple of minutes later, after I took that loser, all right, the vol turned red right here. Call it 936 a.m. this morning. And you can see clearly with your own eyes, we had a nice downtrend established and then kaboom, market goes up, 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 retraces a little bit and gives us the perfect retracement trade. And this is the truth, man. I did the same thing I did before. Go short on the open of the next candle and this time use the halfway point of the candle as the stop loss, not the top of the candle. Because when you use the halfway point of the candle, boy, do you dramatically cut down your risk exposure on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what I was trying to accomplish today. Okay. And of course, if we keep this train moving, you guys can take a look at where I was able to get to break even. All right. Dumped half of this hog at 12, 18 and a half. Um, pretty happy with that. This is typically one-to-one -one risk reward, but you guys know much more importantly than getting to one-to-one -one risk reward is trying to find areas where we can bag some significant profits as you can see right here this was four to one dump the second half of this hog at 186 for a really nice 100 tick profit and once again if i fit this back to scale all i did folks was use volume we simply wait for these color changes and we look for this each and every day is there anything complicated about waiting for the color change and wait for volume to tell you the truth about which way the market is going to start trending, right? I don't think it's complicated. I hope you don't think it's complicated because all we're doing is following the large traders who are the ones that establish these big giant moves. All right. So yeah, man, overall thought it was a decent trading day. I'm always happy if I can at least make money that day. I'd rather be profitable than be unprofitable on any one particular trading day, even if it's by just a couple of ticks. Right. And so the takeaway that I want you to glean from watching this video is number one. Once again, volume just works. Volume doesn't lie. It tells you the truth about what direction the market is trending. And I feel like I've built something very special that makes it easy to spot those trend changes like we did right here at 936 AM. And number two, folks, always remember that risk management is going to make a huge difference in your trading, because I'm convinced that when you master risk management, then and only then will you become profitable. Guys, that'll do it for this video. If you'd like to get your hands on this powerful volume indicator, then get in touch, call, text, email, whatever's convenient, and I'd be happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo, really show you how this volume indicator is going to supercharge your trading. Guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next trade.